When I'm older, I'd like to be a forensic scientist or join the army. When I grow up, I want to be a journalist or a personal assistant. I want to be a lawyer or a fashion designer. So what sort of qualifications are on offer in the diploma programme to allow students like these to realise their ambitions? The first diploma courses are being piloted from September 2008. Each offers one broad line of study and secondary schools and colleges have to create their own curricula with local employers based on a government framework. People ask why we've jumped in at this stage when it's all a little vague, particularly with the actual curriculum and what had to be taught. Quite a turnaround from the old exam board system. We need to get this right because this is about the young people's life chances and we need to make sure that it's a worthwhile curriculum. We need to make sure that our staff are well motivated and trained to deliver it. Each subject-based diploma has to include functional skills across English, maths and ICT. And this can be taught in a workplace and higher education colleges as well as a classroom. So how are some of the teachers involved getting on? Two consortia are planning their diploma curriculum, but in quite different ways to fit their own situations. First, creative and media, which, as you'd expect, involves performing arts, fashion and graphic design. Teachers from each of the schools and colleges have been meeting to plan an overall curriculum. The aim is to then tailor it to the particular students' needs in each of the five schools. First things first, what's on offer? What better way to find out than to host a Diplomas Open Day? Even if the ink isn't quite dry on the curriculum planning. We're here at our school's options afternoon to find out what we might be doing next year in Year 10. We don't know much about the diploma, but we want to find out some more about it. We've got some questions and we're going in to see if we can get them answered. I'm not actually sure about taking the diploma because I want to be a forensic scientist but I don't know whether it'll like, lead me down the right path. At your age you really need to keep your options open so I think it's important that you have a wide range of skills that you develop from the qualifications that you have that an employer would want as well. You come to us, it'd be more like the master class, so you'd come and do the practicals in photography, yeah, editing. Yeah, and our teachers are all industry practitioners as well. Well, the diploma would be something that universities look down their nose at. And they'll be recognised in the same way that A levels are and GCSEs are recognised. So if a student comes to us with a diploma and a good portfolio of work, then that's going to be the kind of student that, that we would be looking for. I've heard that some of the work will be in college. There will be some parts of the course where, for example, you might choose that you want to specialise in maybe looking at something to do with costumes or something to do with behind scenes or box office. So we'll start looking at that within the classroom and then we'll take it out to different places. So you might go to college, which will be set up for you, or you might go to somewhere like the Rep. <laughs> A clear message from the pilot phase is that schools, Higher education colleges and workplaces will need to work together if the diploma curriculum is to succeed. And Jenny has taken on the daunting task to make this happen for the creative and media diploma. I'm working across the schools, I'm working across the local authority um, and any of the agencies that are involved in delivering the diploma. And what the group is currently dealing with is trying to make sure that we get everything in place to deliver this diploma line in September. Um, as a consequence of that, we're looking at everything from what advice and guidance do young people get on the diploma, what timetable and structure we need, what kind of training, information and guidance support staff will need to deliver it. So there's a whole range of things that are actually going on at the moment. Today, she finds herself backstage at the Birmingham Repertory Theatre. There's only so much that teachers can plan without getting out and trying it themselves. <laughs> this diploma is about tapping into your specialism and your expertise, which we don't have in the schools. We have our own staff with their own expertise, but there'll be elements that clearly the schools will not be able to do without support and help from you. What I'm aiming for are learning experiences which are 
uh, hosted by the rep at school and by the use of online resources. Students have a virtual tour of the theatre mm -hmm. and they can go into wardrobe on the virtual tour and watch wardrobe working. And what about the hands-on experience? That's, what I was yeah, that's, exactly that's the whole idea of the diploma. Because I know when yeah. we've done the tour mm. we've gone down into wigs. That's all I want. I want to get my hands on it mm. and start having go and that's what the, the students want to do as well. In terms of principal learning, are you talking about the units one, unit two, unit three, the units that the, the students have to undergo? For example, yeah. Unit 1 scene and Unit 2 performance. See, I, that's, that's information that I, I need to get my head around now a little bit more. Because the diploma has been evolving, we have the opportunity and the forum to talk the ideas out so that now, more than ever, schools and industry will develop the work that we're going to deliver together. The first thing I did, and which I showed to the teachers today, was come up with some very generic ideas about what we might provide, knowing the rep, knowing the essence of the diploma, and knowing the schools that were involved. It's one of our big anxieties that there will eventually be hundreds of pupils wanting to come through the rep. So what we're looking to do is to create these um, quite, quite wide generic packages of learning which are geared towards certain aspects of the diploma, which then in liaison with the individual schools, we can tailor very, very slightly. So, for example, two schools really interested in makeup, we might get a makeup person in for the day and we'll all do a workshop together. So, it might not always be possible to do it at the rep, but maybe yeah. someone from the rep might come along and yeah. they'll be prepared that it's two hours and they get to put makeup on people and see what kind of stuff I'm goes quite on. keen on that, on t in taking the rep out to schools. So, for this consortium, the links between schools and industry are cementing. Just five miles away, our other consortium is piloting the engineering diploma. They're meeting together like the creative and media teachers, but their idea is different. To deliver as much of the course as possible centrally, using a hub as their diploma base. Students and teachers from five local schools will come together to one site on a weekly basis. And yes, just as much planning is going on here too. We decided to use the CLC as the hub for the diploma because of the resources that are needed. The engineering diploma is very expensive to resource and it's not really possible for five schools to have all those resources themselves. You're dealing with five different schools, five lots of teachers, five head teachers, five timetables. When we first got through the gateway, uh, there was no real documentation and the teachers really didn't know what they were teaching. Then once we got the syllabus from the exam board, we were able to start having the meetings with the teachers. The first thing that they decided to do was to work in pairs. We have to have that facility so that we can move from one set of units to the other mid-year. When I saw the diploma first of all, um, I was hesitant. Uh, but I did a bit of background reading. We met as a group uh, with the other members of uh, the team. And as we started to roll, I could see that it had more future. You've all done brilliant schemes of work and lesson plans. I want you to look at the assessment and how that fits in. Because it's a team teaching uh, sort of um, delivery, we'll have two teachers teaching each unit, you know, 30 pupils. And what we're doing is we've split the units up so that we're going to be delivering our specialism. Research and development. If we actually look at some domestic product or personal yes. product and actually get them to actually do a task <laughs> with them, um, yeah. it should show how technology has helped and improved and moved things along. You see, the mobile is an obvious one, but we want to use that one for the assessment, don't we? Yeah. Vacuum, vacuum cleaner. cleaner. Yes. Dyson. A vacuum cleaner. So, team planning, using their expertise, seems to be working. But for success, the team has to build outside the school too. We've got various employers on board. Though in terms of actual delivery of units, we, we haven't spoken at this stage. What we are aware of is that we are going to be wanting different things. The type of experience that we're looking for will be a different experience. 
Bob and Keith have certainly found a different experience. Uh, wing mirror is nearly touching the ground this side. <laughs> An experience where suddenly the teachers are not in the driving seat. <laughs> that is not a pothole, it's a crater. After the ups and downs of planning in the classroom, Roll my flippers if somebody had told me. The rocky road to developing that diploma curriculum still has a long way to go. <laughs> with one of their local employers, Land Rover. What was that? <laughs> I don't want to do that in my car. <laughs> and today is just the start. The research and development and the design section now are Unit 8. Aesthetics versus ergonomics and also economic versus environmental. Oh, right, OK, yeah. We'll be now starting to look at modules and key parts of the modules and which modules we can support with the delivery and which we can help provide um, work experience placements for and um, guest speakers for and how we can actually support different specific parts of different modules. We really think that there's a space to bring the Land Rover product um, into this unit. Yep especially with the new LRX yeah. uh, Land Rover that's coming out, because I understand that's a hybrid. A lot of work has been done by Land Rover over the last few years to deal with that uh, environmental issue, and so we can um, give them access to all that information and perhaps get people to come in and speak to them about and it. Could the students come and have a look at this sort of the way that you've incorporated new technology for these developments? Well, there's only one concept vehicle at the moment, so there may be some confidentiality issues around that, but as the press launch has been done, it should be a lot easier to get involved with the designers and how they start designing it. But whether you can actually see an actual vehicle, we'll have to look into that. So far, it's all planning meetings, meetings to talk about meetings, putting structure in place to enable good working practices to flourish. And the first phase will come into force for some students in September. How is everyone feeling about it? I think the progress we've made so far it is quite amazing from having the idea of doing a diploma to actually getting five schools with a common timetable and five teachers who, despite the problems inflicted on them by time playbling and everything, they are still so enthusiastic. Um, there is still a long way to go, but I think a lot of the stuff that we have to do now is it's little problems that can be overcome. I think what you'll find is that the group that have come together have come together because they actually have a real interest in um, forging new curriculum pathways for young people. It's about taking this as an opportunity to shape um, the curriculum. I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't think it was worth it. And that sounds a bit pat, but it really, you know, I, I wouldn't be doing this now if I didn't think it was, it was right. <laughs>